for joining me for part two of two for Agile SDK on PHP for Windows 7. Picking up where we left off, select new PHP project and call it. Next, create a folder for application and create a folder for tests. Now we will create a file which can be used as an example to demonstrate how make good works with the PHP unit. We'll create a function called add nums, which will receive two arguments and add them and return the results. Next, we will go to create a new test file in our test folder. We will call this new class test. Note that it must follow this convention. The class which you are testing should be tested by a test class which is the same as the name of your class followed by the word test. If you do not do this, the make good extension will not be able to run your test. First, require your test class. Always use the directory separator instead of a forward slash or a backslash as it will create problems when you attempt to transfer your application to a Linux environment. Make sure your class name is the same as your file name without the PHP extension. And be sure that your new class test or equivalent extends the PHP unit framework test case. Create a test, create a setup function to initialize your new class, store the result of your new class, send it to parameters, and make an assertion that the two numbers were added correctly. We're almost ready to test our new class. If you haven't done so already, go to the window and show view. Select the make good extension. Once you have your project open, you will need to set the settings for each project to work with make good. To do this, go to project, select properties. Select the PHP include path and select the libraries tab on the top. Go to Add Libraries. We'll say User Library, and we can add our pair library, which we have previously created. Next, in your Project Properties, go to the Make Good extension.
select PHP unit. If you have a PHP unit configuration file, you may select that here. Now, we will need to configure our project debugger settings. We do this by going to Project, Properties, and click on our PHP debug. We select Enable Project Specific Settings, select Xdebug, and then select Configure. We select Xdebug, which should be on our port 9000, the same as our PHP any file that we settings that we selected earlier. Select configure. We need to change the accept remote session JIT to any. Select OK. Apply. OK. Select enable CLL. I debug. Next, go to your make good. You'll need to add a folder that will be tested. We want to include our tests folder. Note that whichever tests are located within the folders that are selected here will be the tests that are run when the all test function within make good is executed. You will need to restart Eclipse in order for these changes to take effect before we can start using the Make Good extension. We should now be able to navigate to our test folder, right click, and select Run Tests. As you'll notice, we can see that this test passed. When we decide to refactor our code, we'll make, need to make sure that the option to rerun the test each time it is saved is selected. If we change our code and make a mistake, As soon as we save it, the test will run, and as we'll notice, there was one failure. The test add nums function no longer is operating as expected. We will now know that we made a mistake, and we can go back and make changes as necessary. The function is now passing the test. This is extremely important, especially in agile software development, where we need to get more feedback more often. If we are working with large complex systems, we'll need to know if any failures are occurring because of the changes that we made. Because agile so heavily depends upon refactoring code very often and delivering working software in smaller increments, we'll need to edit our code more often. Each time we make those edits, we'll need to make sure that we didn't break anything. As we're adding new features and functionality, we can decide to run only those new tests which we are running before we run every single test. This is very useful in situations where you have a lot of tests to run, but do not necessarily run, want to run all the tests while you're developing a new feature. For this case, we will make a new function called subtractNums. We need to go to our window show the view outline. This will allow us to select individual functions within our class when we want to run the tests. We'll add a test function for subtract nums. When we want to run only one test, we can navigate up to the subtract nums function and run just that test. As we can see, only the subtract nums test was run. If you want to select another test, we simply select that test and click Run Tests. Only the add nums function was run. Of course, we can disable the running of tests each time it is saved until we are ready to start testing.
That's all for now. If you have any questions, please contact me, and I will do my best to assist.